Let's talk about my, I think, worst week of reselling ever as a part-time reseller. But not only are we going to talk about, you know, why sales suck so much and go through the sales in this What Sold video, but we're also going to talk about things that I can do in the future to prevent this from happening again. Stay tuned. Won't nobody love you the way they should. Won't nobody check up on you, make sure you're good. Won't nobody check those body tendons by your neck. Hi everyone, my name is Becky Park and I'm a part-time reseller on reselling platforms like Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, Facebook Marketplace. There are a handful of others. And in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you everything that actually sold for me over a two-week period while I was gone on vacation in Seattle. We have to talk about the first week of August, which was atrocious. So let's just, without further ado, get into that. So in August, let's see, August 2nd, which was a Monday, I started off okay. And this was the week where I just stopped listing altogether. Like I just stopped doing everything. But um, I did have another Slazinger sale that Slazinger, I don't know how to say it, but it was a Slazinger Golf white sleeveless top with like a black trim. It sold for $18, which honestly may have been my full asking price. And so I made $14.40 off of that item. And it came from my same friend, the one who gave me all that stuff for free from church. The next item to sell came from the same friend. It was this dress by the brand Le Chic. Um, I've never heard of it. I think it's just probably like a Macy's brand or you could probably get this at like Marshall's or something. But it was the striped sequin heart dress in a size 10. This sold for $15 and I made it $12 on that. And that sold so fast, like within a couple weeks. On Mercari, I had a Merrill... On Mercari, I sold this pair of Merrill leather sundial slide-on sandals. They sold for $22. I had $8.20 into them because I picked them up at a local consignment pop-up sale. And I made $10.66 on those shoes once you factor in Mercari's fees and my cost of goods. So a lot of times if I'm shopping at like a consignment store or somewhere where, you know, for whatever reason that day, my cost of goods is higher. It'll seem like I'm not hitting that $20 profit goal, but that's also because, you know, for this particular pair of sandals, I didn't actually pay anywhere near $8.20. I probably paid like three or $4, but given the fact that I'm going by average cost of goods and some of the items I paid like $50 for, which, you know, those items were worth the $50 that I paid, but it kind of messes with my average cost of goods. So just throwing that out there. Um, I had another Mercari sale on this Monday and it was a Hannah Anderson floral layered skirt in a size six. This was my daughter's. She wore it like a handful of times, but I ended up listing it because it's too small on her. So I got $12 for it and my profit was $10.15. On Tuesday, which was August 3rd, I had one Facebook Marketplace sale, and it was this pair of Chico's, the So Slimming Girlfriend Leopard Print Ankle Pants in a size Chico's 1. They sold for $20. I had less than a dollar into them because they came from that local consignment store, and so I made $17.84 of profit on those. And then on August 4th, which was a Wednesday, I had a Mercari sale. It was this book called The Daily Five Second Edition Literacy Book. Um, it sold for $7, and so I made a profit of $5.80 on that book. It was just something that I found in my house. It had been my husband's. My husband teaches first grade, so I think he read this for school to uh, learn more about this literacy strategy for his class. Um, it was just taking up space in our house, so even though I only made $5.80 on it, that's pure profit, so pretty cool. On Kid Is In, I sold this Crew Cuts, which is like the J Crew Kids line. Green elastic waist pull-on skirt in a size 6'7". This was my daughter's. We were cleaning out her dresser before our garage sale and pulled out like tons and tons of skirts. And they've all pretty much sold through um, and fairly quickly. So this sold for $14. Um, I paid for shipping, which was $4.15. And so I made a profit of $8.17. And it just feels good to have a Kid Is In sale, you know? what I mean? Especially when over the summer I basically sold nothing, but I did have two kids in sales this week. And then I had a direct sale. It was this Chico's cable knit black and ivory striped jacket. I believe this sold to a viewer and I didn't write down the viewer's name, so I will put it right here, but thank you so much. We agreed on $30 shipped for this jacket. I think she just found it like, you know, on my Poshmark or something, but she was like, Hey, I'll just get this from you directly. So you don't have to pay for, uh, you know, all those fees and whatnot. So, um, we did $30 shipped. It was 
eight dollars to ship it out 80 cents for my cost of goods because it came from that local consignment store so i made a profit of 19 dollars 66 you guys know how much i do enjoy selling brands like chico's and talbots because even though they're not like the sexiest brands out there they do sell for a decent amount and then on thursday which was august 5th I sold another dress that I got for free from a friend at church. It was by the brand Between, it's quite the name, um, and it was this pink and white striped cold shoulder romper in a size 12. This sold for $15 on Poshmark, and so I made a pure profit of $12 on that. And then on eBay, I sold this Talbot's black 100% lambskin leather pencil skirt in a size 8 petite. This sold for $39.99, which was my full asking price. Um, that was with free shipping, and I had about $4 into it, and so I made a profit on that skirt of $25.52. I was ecstatic to get this out the door because I thought it was a really cool piece, and it got so much interest, like so many likes on Poshmark and, you know, watchers on eBay. No one ever pulled the plug, but finally someone just got it, you know, outright at my full asking price. So I was really happy about that. And then on Mercari, I actually purchased this pair of Nike KD, which is Kevin Durant, for 6082. I don't know what all this stuff means. They were these sneakers in the Volt Vivid colorway. They were blue um, in a size 14 for men. These I had actually purchased in Seattle and I listed them in Seattle. I actually took pictures of these shoes outside in front of my parents' house um, because I wanted to sell them before I came back to Illinois. They are huge. You know, like I said, they were size 14 and I just thought it'd be really cool to make money back on something that I thrifted, you know, while I was on my trip um, and to kind of make money towards that trip while I was still currently on the trip. And I listed two pairs of shoes, hoping that they would both sell. The Hoka's have not sold yet. Um, but these did. So they sold for $68. I believe I had them listed for like a hundred, but I was happy to take 68. I had $9.99 into them. And so I made a profit of $48 and 94 cents. And I don't think that they were even listed for a week. I also want to believe that these sold because of the fact that, you know, at that time it was the Olympics and Kevin Durant broke the record for like most points scored as an Olympic basketball player ever, I think. I think he's gone to the Olympics now for the USA team like three times or something. And he has, you know, broken that record. And I like to think that that's part of the reason why these sold. So pretty cool sale and felt really good to make money while I was on vacation. And then on Friday, which was August 6th, I had one eBay sale. It was this Case Logic portable DVD player zip around case. So not even the DVD player, just the case. It sold for $25. It was promoted at 1%. I had them pay for shipping and I ended up making $23.82 on that item. And that was something that was just sitting around at home. Uh, we actually sold the DVD player at our garage sale, but this, I just had a feeling like, I think I could make a decent amount on this if I just sell it on eBay. And it was listed for less than a week and sold for $25. I had it listed for, I want to say like 40 or something like that. But because it was just something that was taking up space in our home, I was more than happy to accept that $25 offer. So, um, pretty cool sale right there. Moving on to Saturday, which was August 7th. I had one Poshmark sale. It was this James purse, black shirt shawl collar, one button blazer in a size extra large. This I picked up, I remember during um, like a thrift with me challenge that I did with um, a bunch of people through Bolo Buddies. If you haven't checked out her channel, definitely make sure that you do. Um, but I picked this up at a local thrift store for $2.37. That was my average cost of goods that day. And I sold it for 60. So my profit on that blazer was $45.13. James Purse is one of those brands that um, retails for a ton, but it doesn't resell for a lot all the time. Sometimes it can, but I had a lot of hope in this blazer because one, it was a bigger size and two, career pieces are moving really well and three it's just such a classic piece you know longer length blazers have definitely made a comeback and so i was confident that this would sell for a good amount and it did Moving on to eBay, I had a couple sales and they were two items that I was just so happy to get out the door because I had had them listed for a while and I knew that they were going to be kind of tough sales. So the first item was this Daniel Rain printed button up tunic in a size small. It sold for $15 with free shipping. Um, I had about $4 into it. My profit on that tunic was $5.36. I do not pick up Daniel Rain anymore. Like it just does not 
sell. If it sells, it takes forever to sell and it does not sell for a lot. So I just do not pick up this brand, which is a shame because I think they make some cute things. Um, I think that, you know, it's sold through Stitch Fix and I think they sell it maybe at like Nordstrom Rack or something like that. But it just does not move. So I'm done picking it up. I had that for forever. And then the next thing to sell on eBay was this blue and white striped sleeveless apron belted dress in a size extra small. This I got at that local consignment store when I went and shopped in bulk. So I had less than a dollar into it. I got a $6 offer on it and I was like, that's fine. Like there was no brand. It was cute, but... I it was just, yeah, I don't know. So um, $6, they paid for shipping. I made a profit of $4.32. You live and you learn. And then on Kittizen, I had one more sale, and it was this pair of J. Crew Factory blue chino shorts in a size zero. Someone put them in their cart, and I sent them an offer of $15 with free shipping, which they accepted. Shipping was $4.15, so I made a profit of $9.05. And those were just shorts that I no longer wore, so I was super happy with that. And then finally, on Sunday, which was August 8th, was this pair of new with tags, Abercrombie & Fitch black high-rise bell-bottom pants in a size 8. They sold for $35, which was my full asking price, and I had picked them up at a local consignment store for $4.86, so I made a profit of $23.14. I did have to sit on those for a few months. I don't think that this extreme flare silhouette pant is selling very well anymore. I don't think it's like super, you know, trendy at this moment, but I'm happy that they sold. And then on eBay, I sold this pair of J. Crew Factory Frankie Gray Ankle Chinos in a size zero. These sold for $12, and I made $10.59 on those. They were given to me for free, so I was happy with that profit. And then on Facebook Marketplace, I sold this pair of Adidas Pink Soccer Shin Guards in a size youth large. They sold for $8, and so my profit was $7.38 they just showed up in my house. I think that they came from someone at church. Um, she usually gives me a ton of stuff to give my daughter. And I think these were just kind of in there. So I saved them. I listed them. They sold within a few days. Uh, but I am not sure where those came from. They just showed up in my house. So let me go through the numbers for this week. And then I'll go into the week of August 9th through the 15th, which was tragic. Like it was literally my worst week of sales ever ever that i've ever had as a reseller my god so on poshmark i sold five items and that was for a gross sales amount of 143 dollars once you factor in poshmark fees shipping discounts that sort of thing my total drops to 114 dollars and 40 cents my cost of goods for those five items was seven dollars and 23 cents so i ended up making a profit on poshmark of 107 dollars and 17 cents on Mercari, I sold three items, and that was for a gross sales amount of $109. Once you factor in Mercari's fees, that total drops to $93.74. My cost of goods was $18.10 for those three items, and so my net profit from Mercari was $75.55. On eBay, I had five sales and my gross sales amount on those items was $97.99. The amount that I earned after eBay fees, after shipping was $78.41. I had $8.80 as my cost of goods for those five items. So I made a profit of $69.61 on eBay, which is less than what I earned on Mercari, which is kind of crazy. On Facebook Marketplace, I sold two items for a gross sales amount of $28. Once you factor in Facebook Marketplace's 5% fees, I made a total of $26.02. My cost of goods was $0.80 cents for those two items, and so my net profit from Facebook Marketplace was $25.22. On Kittizen, I had two sales for a gross sales amount of $29. Once you factor in shipping and my uh, Kittizen fees, that total drops to $17.22. Both of those items, you know, were free or they were, you know, Lucy's things, and so I had no cost of goods. So so the amount that I earned from Kittizen was $17.22. And then I had one direct sale for a gross sales amount of $30. Once you factor in shipping and PayPal fees, that total drops to $20.46. I had 80 cents into the item, and so I made a net profit of $19.66 from direct sales. So in total, 
I had a gross sales amount of $436.99. Once you factor in shipping and fees, that total drops to $350.25. My cost of goods was $35.82. And so I made $314.43 in the first week of August, $314.43 in my bank account and all thanks to my friend Chi Wan who came to my house and shipped. The next week that we're gonna talk about is my absolute worst week of reselling ever. So let's get into that. So in the week of August 9th through the 15th, I sold nine items, okay? We're gonna start with Monday, August 9th. And I think we returned from our vacation on like that Wednesday or something like that. So the reason why I had such few sales was because of the fact that the week before I had not listed anything like nothing you may not see the results of not listing right away but it catches up to you and in the similar vein if you do start listing like a crazy person you won't actually see the results of that until maybe a week or two later so um you know ever since i got back i tried to list pretty consistently and only now am i seeing uh the fruit of that labor so just letting you know like if you kind of slack off on listing you might be like oh i'm okay i'm still making sales it'll catch up to you. Just you wait. So on Monday, which was August 9th, I sold this H&M black wool blend peacoat in a size medium for $15 on Poshmark. And my profit on that item is $12. My brother gave that to me for free. I had it listed for way too high for like $35. There was a flaw on the back. And I did get a lot of like, probably like $18, $20 offers when I first listed this a year ago. And for whatever reason, I kept holding out for this higher offer. Finally, I wisened up. I got this $15 offer and I accepted it because I was like I just need to get this big bulky thing out of my house I should have accepted the other offers that came in earlier instead of being greedy but here we are on eBay I sold this loft white cargo cropped utility pants in a size 4 petite for $19.99 that was my asking price um, I had about 80 cents into them because they came from the local bulk sale that I did at the consignment store they paid for shipping I made a profit on those pants of $15.87 they took a very long time to sell, so I don't recommend picking up this style of pants. On Facebook Marketplace, I sold this Speedo Blue One Piece Swimsuit in a size Youth 16 for $10. I think I had them listed for like 15 and someone was like, can you do 10? And I was like, I'm not making any sales, so I sure can. Um, I had less than a dollar into that because I got it at the local consignment store. And so I made a profit of $8.47. And then on Shopify, I had a really amazing sale. It was this pair of new with tags, frame Le Skinny de Jean Wellington jeans. I'm butchering the French in a size 26 they sold for $52 on Shopify and on Shopify I offer free shipping and the lowest price that I offer on any given item on any platform so if you want to shop and you want you know the lowest prices with free shipping check out my Shopify I will have that link right here and I'll have it linked down in the description below as well um this was a great sale because I had recently sold those on eBay and they got returned to me because of fit. And literally the day after I received them, like my friend Jiwon who did my packages would also check my mail. And she was like, it looks like you have like a return or something. Um, and literally the next day I was like, Jiwon, I just sold the return so you can ship it out again. Um, so that was really exciting. I picked those up at a local Plato's closet. I got a number of jeans there um, and they just had a lot of really great denim brands priced really low. So my average cost of goods for that trip was $11.94. This particular item, I feel like I actually paid up for like maybe $20, $25, but we're calling my average cost Cost of goods $11.94 so I made a profit on those jeans of $32.44. On Tuesday August 10th I had zero sales and then on Wednesday August 11th I had one eBay sale and it was this pair of new with tags Joe's jeans the fin that was the style name mid-rise Bermuda shorts in a size 14 they were cutoffs they sold for $19.99 with promoted listings at 1% um, the buyer paid for shipping and so I made a profit of $16.63 on those because I did get them for free from a friend at church. So that was the day that we got back home to Champaign after like the worst travel experience of my life. We were just on the plane forever and didn't get back to my in-laws until like three in the morning. That's another story for another day. On Thursday the 12th, we were in Champaign, zero sales. On Friday the 13th, 
I had one Facebook Marketplace sale and it was for this Playtex Diaper Genie for $10. And so, you know, I'm calling that $10 of pure profit because it was something that we had purchased and used with my children. And, you know, that cost has been absorbed at this point. So $10, you know, they just came to my house, picked it up and we're good to go but you know, nothing to ship out. So by the time Saturday the 14th rolled around, my husband was like, do you still sell stuff? Like, I haven't seen you do any shipping. And I'm like, I know it's been rough. But on that Saturday, I had an eBay sale. It was this Polo Jeans Company Ralph Lauren graphic long sleeve shirt in a size small for men. It sold for $15 with free shipping. I made $9.48 of profit on that item. And that was something that my brother gave to me for free. And then I did have two more Facebook Marketplace sales this Day. The first item was our crib. I was so happy to get rid of this because my son is now four and truth be told, he never used his crib. I think he slept in it like three or four times, but he just co-slept with me. And my daughter, she used it probably for like the first like six months, but she co-slept with me as well. So this crib really just took up space in our house for like seven and a half years. And we just didn't really get much use out of it, which is sad because my parents paid a lot for it when we had our daughter. Um, they just didn't really ever take to it. And it is one of those cribs that can convert into like a toddler bed and then into a day bed. So I had it listed for like $150 on Facebook Marketplace no takers. I kept dropping the price little by little. And finally it was at 60. I think I relisted it a bunch of times and I got a hit. Someone came over, picked it up, gave me my $60 and I was so happy. And then my son, he has been using this race car bed for the past like few months. Maybe that boy slept with me for like the longest time. He slept with me until he was like four. So only for like the last few months has he used this bed that we had. Um, but we finally just got him like a for real big boy bed and had to get rid of this one. The day that I listed the bed, someone purchased it. They came over that day. Um, I had it listed for 25 because my son had put all these like uh, state stickers and president stickers all over the bed. And there was a piece in the front that was kind of broken. So we listed it for 25. It sold right away. Super happy about it. Sunday the 15th, zero sales. So for the week, I sold one item on Poshmark for a gross sales amount of $15 and I had no cost of goods into it, so my net profit on that item is $12. I sold three items on eBay for a gross sales amount of $54.98. Once you factor in shipping and uh, eBay fees and all that, that total drops to $42.78. I had $0.80 cents as my cost of goods into those three items, and so my net profit on eBay was $41.98. On Shopify, I had one sale for a gross sales amount of $52. But once you factor in, you know, Shopify's fees and shipping, that total drops to $44.38. And I had $11.94 into that pair of jeans as my cost of goods. So on Shopify, I had a net profit of $32.44. And if it weren't for Facebook Marketplace, I would have made under $100. But on Facebook Marketplace, marketplace, I sold four items for a gross sales amount of $105. Only one of those items I had purchased, you know, for the sake of reselling. So I had 80 cents as my cost of goods. And so my net profit was $103.40. So in total, I sold nine items in the second week of August for a gross sales amount of $226.98. Once you factor in shipping and fees, that total drops to $203.36. My cost of goods for those nine items was $13.54. And I made a profit of $189.82. I cannot even remember the last time that I made under $200 of profit in a week of reselling. Can't remember it. But that's what happens when you just completely stop listing in the middle of summer slowdown. Like, what was I thinking? So those were my sales while I was on vacation. And I'd love to hear from you. How have your sales been? I hope that sales are picking up for you finally as we get out of summer slowdown. I know for me, um, kids stuff, even, you know, in the weeks that we talked about, kids stuff has been selling really well because of back to school season. And I'm hoping that everyone's season up tick in sales from here on out. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure that you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button too on your way out if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.